Hello everyone, welcome back to Juice Towers of Hell. Today we'll be doing Tower of Gain kind of disappointing. A tower that, well, at first burns your freaking eyes. Okay, not that badly, but you know what I mean. This is actually one of the better towers of, of Ring 5. Of, from the Kato era. Because it looks pretty good. I mean, just look at it. Is it, is it so beautiful? Obviously, there's a stark contrast between the towers in, in the Lost River and the towers in the main ring. But hey, this is actually one of one of the better towers in this area, because it just looks cool. It's also probably themed. Also, do not fall on the conveyor, because... Also, the conveyor is... Is is not to be used as a safety net. Unless you're stupidly unless you're stupidly good at saving saving. There's a high chance that if you don't spam jump, you'll if you fall to this area, you'll you will have to restart the tower from the beginning. Not as cool cool waterfall actually look actually sort of like the design it's pretty cool this does not mean the tower is themed unlike the case for the next one which would be actually much which would be tower of ground level ascension After that, we'll do some absolute classics. Towers I know from... Towers I know from practically the back of my mind. So I have some, uh, rather interesting towers, to say the least. You have some rather interesting towers, to say the least. Yeah. Now I have this area. It's a simple button challenge. It's a nice way to demonstrate the push boxes. Yeah. Actually, I actually like how they made this area. It's a nice demonstration of the push boxes. Yeah. But now we climb up to this area. I do some odd look odd looking one stud jumps. Back to normal looking one stud jumps. Consistency is not this tower's passion. Consistency regarding Regarding the types of jumps is not this tower's passion. I mean, they look they look like the anomaly icons from Star Escape. Better hope you got that. Better hope you got that. Better hope it isn't a. Better hope it's a AN anomaly. Yeah, crappy Star Escape joke. I know. But you should probably treasure them with. Because for those of you who don't know, actually, I think all of you don't know. Yeah. Unless you like know me personally, there because I used to play Starscape. I had no intention on making content on it. I just play it purely to, purely to have some fun. 
game got quite boring after a little while because because there hasn't been any major updates since in year in over in, in like years like I'm still waiting for player owned stations This could be this Obviously this tower is quite somewhat complex but also really simple too It's somewhat complex, but also really simple, too. Oh, yeah, you could pull off this skip, which is really nice to do. But then you have this, these lo somewhat long jumps. But then you have this somewhat long jump, which is actually quite menacing once you think about it. But in most cases, this tower is pretty easy. Mm -hmm. You have these nice little spinning platforms are here for some reason. I, I don't know why they're here, but they're clearly here, so might as well welcome them. Next, you have these weird jumps, which are rather interesting, but they're which are rather interesting to look at. Now I got this unmarked conveyor, which can scare some. Which can scare some. So to reiterate, unmarked conveyors, not cool. Unmarked conveyors, not cool. Just weave around the areas these spinners move at. And do some of these jumps. And now we enter the spinner. That doesn't spin, I guess. But suddenly, falling platform. Yes, that's a falling platform. Did you expect... I didn't expect anything less. Thankfully, towards the end of this tower, it gets pretty forgiving. It gets pretty forgiving. I mean, yes, these are falling platforms. You cannot use them as healing spots. And know this lava. Um, it knows that. L I think it. I think it's time to explain that. Though I already may have demonstrated this, that that the lava does not kill you. Matter of fact, where the frick is it coming from? It's, it's like a. It's like it was placed there. It's like it was placed there by someone with a bucket. Easy, easy place to die at this section. Heal. Heal. Heal at this section. For your own good, really. Just avoid the, those and you should be fine. Also, the spinners are all the spinners in this floor are neon for some reason. Just ignore that. And continue on with the tower. Here you have some half studs. As always, be careful around half studs. As always, you should always be careful around half studs. I don't know what these are all about, but treat them as, but treat, but treat them as one stud platforms. 
walk around walk around this tightrope. Now we're at this floor. Which is actually a second to last floor. Yes, this is a rather short tower. Actually it's more normal. Of a normal length tower. Like it should take you longer than 15 minutes to beat this tower. Basically, meaning it should take you longer than 20 minutes to beat this tower. You just, after grabbing that body, you just have to roll it back. Now jump over some of these, some of these platforms again. They're kind of weird looking, to be honest. But they actually have a cool design to them, in my opinion. Now I have the, this absolutely terrifying outside section. Fall here and your run is over. If you have any cosmetics, turn them off. If you have any cosmetics, turn them off. You do not want... If you have any cosmetics, turn them off. Turn them off. Until you get back inside. These are, these are once, you can easily fail the entire tower. But after that, you could just, you could just give yourself back the cosmetic. As now falling isn't as big of a risk. And plus, and plus, you could count this area as a partial safety net. And we're at the final jumps of the tower. Boom! Anyways, like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you like this video. Just do all that. Okay? Bye.